I've always believed in numbers. In the equations and logics that lead to reason. But after a lifetime of such pursuits, I ask, what truly is logic? It's no good, and you need to dump it. Look, the most powerful supplement that you will ever have, all of you, no matter how much money you have to pay personal trainers, the most powerful tool you will have to succeed, the most powerful tool is your fucking mind. You know, science has come a long way, yes, but there are some things science can't explain. And this whole idea that you need to have, you know, carry a cooler around all day and have meals every three hours, you gotta have seven, eight, nine hours sleep, you gotta have this kind of rest before you go to the gym, you gotta have this meal three hours before you go to the gym, you gotta take this supplement 15 minutes before you go to the gym. At intervals during your workout, you gotta take this, you gotta do this. You need to be cautious of all that stuff. It's all bullshit. It was very important to me to, to, to build the rest of the body up to that level. And then eventually, after 10 years of training, I got to that level where I really felt so now that there's the perfect situation, perfect body, the symmetry was right and all that stuff. I didn't want to just be a movie star, I wanted to be a great movie star that's the highest paid movie star and have above the title building. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. Give me a guy who's got the mindset, no, I didn't get any sleep last night, but it's time to work out, let's go to the gym, let's kick ass. Or give me a guy like that who isn't thinking about those things, but gets to the gym and becomes one. He didn't get as much protein today, he didn't get as much sleep as maybe you should have, those type of things. What does it fucking matter? What does it matter? Don't fucking step down to meet somebody else's silly ass fucking standard that is not backed up by fucking any real world experience. You will always be learning and you will always be starting over. The greatest fucking champions that have ever been still. I always wanted to be very intense. I always wanted to be number one. You're thinking too much about the small, you're giving too much attention to the small things that don't really matter, and you're not giving enough attention to the big, um, broader, more basic things that you do. And ask yourself, who do you want to be? I've always figured out that there's 24 hours a day, you sleep six hours. I have 18 hours left. Now I know there's some of you out there now and says, well, wait a minute, I sleep eight hours or nine hours. Well, then just sleep faster, I would recommend. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. And ask yourselves, who do you want to be? You can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in a pocket. I was poor because I didn't have anything. I had no money, I had no things, we had no TV, we had no refrigerator, we had nothing as kids. But I was rich because I had a dream. Dream of becoming uh, the greatest bodybuilder and I had a dream to use bodybuilding as a means to get into films. Dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who? And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. Of course, trust yourself no matter how, what anyone else thinks. I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times.
He said, I want to be the biggest bodybuilder in the world, the greatest bodybuilder in the world, the richest bodybuilder in the world. He said, I want to be a film star and I want to go into politics. But I had no idea that it would go as far as it did, that it would go beyond the body roles, beyond the muscles, and then do movies like Terminator, Predator, End of Days and stuff like that. That was like, you know, I had to kind of reinvent my dream after I achieved that. Bodybuilding has been a beautiful experience for me and I will continue it for the rest of my life. I only stopped competing, but I'm not stopping bodybuilding. It's the greatest sport. Thank you. There's absolutely no way around hard, hard work. None of my rules, by the way, of success will work unless you do. He talked about him winning Mr. Universe. He says to me, now he's the Mr. Olympia. And then when he competed in one Mr. Olympia, his goal was to win it many times, which he won it seven times. I love feeling like an outsider. I never want to be one of a million. If I wanted to be one of a million, I would have never got the body that I got. If I wanted to be one of a million, I would have never wanted to become the biggest star in the world. I never wanted to lose a competition or lose an election because I didn't work hard enough. I always believed leaving no stone unturned. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. That's the way it is with everything. No pain, no gain. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it has never been done before? As a matter of fact, I love it when someone says that never, no one has ever done this before because then when I do it, that means that I'm the first one that has done it. So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. There must have been a time in your life before that when you, you didn't have any thoughts of bodybuilding at all. What sort of child were you? Well, I grew up in Austria. After, I was born after the Second World War in 1947. It was poverty. There was no food around, no, really nothing. And I think that was the reason why I developed such a uh, tremendous desire, a desire to get out of there uh, and a desire to make it in life, uh, to achieve big things. Trust yourself, break some rules, don't be afraid to fail, ignore the naysayers, work like hell and give something back. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it is the right thing to do and success will come, so don't be afraid to fail. Each year you live, it's one year less. When you're out there partying, horsing around, 
Someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that.